This review looks at two forestry machines. The Caterpillar 568LL is Tonkin model number 4002, and the 568GF is Tonkin model number 4003. Both models come in the usual Tonkin Caterpillar box style, and there's a card which includes some information about the real machine. If we exert a power play on the inside of the box and pull it out, we find a complex plastic former, and there's also a twist tie to annoy us. But it's not too much of a problem to undo this and that, and then we can pull the model out. The tracks have a covering, but there's no assembly to do because these models are complete. Out of the box. For the detail, we'll look at the GF machine, and it's pretty simple underneath, although the track links are detailed. And the track frames are quite detailed, but they don't have any working rollers. There's not much in the way of access steps or handles to the cab, but the texture of the grille is formed within the casting. The cab detail is quite good on the inside, and there's a grille on the outside. The engine cover and protection board at the front are plastic, but a high point is the hydraulics detailing on the boom. The hoses and pipes are quite nicely formed, and the connection rivets are painted. At the end of the stick, the bucket and thumb are decent metal castings. Moving on to the log loader version, the steps to the cab are crude, but at least they are there. And on the review model, there was a defect on the logo at the back, so I guess it's already been busy somewhere shifting logs. The protection for the stick cylinder on this version is very robust, and the grab is a decent metal part with a nice graphic. This is a Cranes Etc safety advisory. Just because you think you've got a big log, it doesn't mean you can't flop down. Without wasting a further moment, we're out on the Cranes Etc test track, and the tracks won't quite roll on a smooth surface, although they are fairly free rolling. But if you're the kind of person that prefers a bit of rough, then they will roll smoothly on a rough surface. One thing affecting both of the review models was a degree of stiffness, and it was relatively hard to rotate both models. However, when it comes to movement of the boom and stick, things were a little bit different. The GF model had some looseness in the rams so it couldn't really be posed reaching out. However, the overall range of movement was good, and on reaching in, the model probably exceeded the range of movement of the real machine. Looking closer in, the thumb seems to have a good range of movement, and the bucket certainly follows it a long way inward. But can it hold your log? And the good news is that a grip is tight enough to hold it. There is another nice and unusual feature on the model, which is the cab, which tilts fully forward. And by doing that, it allows the transport headroom to be reduced. And if we fold up the boom and stick, we'll put it on a truck shortly. But before we do that, let's look at the log loader version. And the rams were a little bit stiffer on this version of the model. And they could just about support the boom and stick fully extended, if you got the angle right. In terms of getting close to the machine, the angle of movement was pretty reasonable. This version of the machine doesn't have a bucket at the end, it has a grab, so let's try that out. Firstly, it rotates freely and swings about quite well. And there's a very good stiffness in the grab mechanism, so it does easily pose open or closed. The whole arrangement also does move, and it's controlled by a cylinder. But this is a logging machine, so I do need to get my log out again. And the model has no problem at all getting a grip on it so realistic poses are possible. The log loader version also features the tilting cab, and it's even more important here because the cab is that much higher. But for transport, you probably need to lay out the boom and stick long ways. Anyway, here is the GF version of the machine, and let's see how it looks on a low loader. Once again, we have to make use of the giant hand crane to get it on board, and the model does make a good looking load. These are a nice pair of forestry machines from Tonkin Replicas. They have got some nice touches of functionality, and the detailing is pretty good. As always, there are a couple of aspects that could be improved, including the stiffness of the rams. 
but they do pose well enough with other models and they're good enough to highly recommend. Mm -hmm. 